Well, fellow aquarium keepers, we know the day would finally come when someone would make a competitor to the Ziz filter. It's Mike with the Fish Tank Barn, and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be the initial comparison between this, the Canv LH600, and the Ziz Bubble Biofilter. So as part of this initial test, uh, we're going to look at the following things. We're going to do a quick cost comparison. Uh, we're going to unbox it. Uh, we're going to do a suction cup test. Uh, we're going to go through the initial setup, and then at the end of it, I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Let's do a quick cost comparison between the two. You can pick up the Canv LH600 off of Amazon for $17.89. You can pick up the Ziz filter from Aquarium Co-op from $29.99. So the Canv is definitely cheaper. At this point, I do want to mention that I was not sponsored by either of the manufacturers or any of the other companies that distribute this product for this video. Looking at what comes in the box here, you can see it comes fully assembled, the sponge inside, and then also uh, comes with the four suction cups. If we look at the Ziz filter, you can see it comes fully assembled, just like the LH600. Also, we can see it comes with the four suction cups, but also it comes with a piece of airline and also an air valve, which is very useful even if you don't use it for the filter. So now let's take a look at the tail of the tape of the size difference between these two filters. All right, let's take a look now at the uh, size of the sponges. So the Ziz filter sponge, uh, measures about an inch and a half and then if you go to the um, LH600 sponge it's about an inch. Also one thing here looking at the sponges you can see here uh, this is the LH600 sponge uh, you can see it's definitely a finer PPE than the this filter sponge here so I think this sponge is going to be more prone to clogging now, if you look at the top of the filters, uh, they are very similar. Uh, you can see they both kind of have the same construction on the bottom. Uh, you can see like the air system here on the uh, LH600 is a little bit different. Uh, this one's got some holes with the Ziz filter, and this one does not. But generally, they're pretty similar. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the media real quick. Uh, the media actually looks to be fairly similar. So this is the LH600 media. And then if you look here, uh, this is the Ziz media. As we can see here, so this filter seems to be thicker in the middle. So if you go back here to the Can-V, uh, the parts that stick out seem to be a little bit finer. So I don't know what difference that really makes, but uh, we'll see that when we do the initial setup and run the air test. So, all right, so now it's time for our suction cup test. So how I'm gonna run this is I'm gonna go ahead and stick one of the suction cups on, I'm gonna, as tight as I can, and see how long it takes me to get it off. And, okay, we have the suction cup on, and I am gonna touch it first, and then let's start the timer. took me 12.53 seconds. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the uh, Ziz filter suction cup on here. We'll see how long that takes. So the Ziz filter is on now. So the Ziz sponge is on now. So we're gonna go ahead and start, do the same thing, have our hand on it, and we're gonna go ahead and start the timer. been 17.66 seconds and I can't get it off so I'm not gonna waste your time since we already know who won the test so let's head on to the initial setup so what you have to do now to uh, install this is you have to stick um, this if you see there's a little hole right here you gotta stick that through the little hole and then you gotta pull it down. And, yeah, and there's a little piece right there you can attach it to. All right, let's talk for a moment now about how to put the suction cups here on the LH600. As you can see here, uh, there's these little stems that come out of the filter. 
So all you need to do, take your suction cup and then it just goes right on the stem like that. And then you can do that for all four of these. All right, so uh, suction cups are on. All right, let's talk a little bit now about putting together the Zis filter. So putting together the Zis filter, you've got the back here where the suction cups go. So you just stick the suction cups in. There's a bigger hole and then you just slide them into the smaller hole. So you do that for each of them. And then this is already done for you on the back. So you don't have to feed that through. So you can just stick your airline on here. So the airline's on there. And finally, if you want, you can stick on the, the valve. So that's how you put together the ZIS filter. As you can see now, we've got both of these running. So this is the uh, LH600. And uh, we've got the ZIS filter running over here. Uh, they're both running on my 90 gallon cichlid tank. So now that we've got these running, I do want to give you guys some of my final thoughts. So, uh, two things I really do take issue with the LH600 on. Uh, the suction cups, I don't think those suction cups are very good. They're okay. Um, they're adequate. There's four of them, so it may not take forever, but I think they will fail eventually. I also think they really need to get a coarser sponge in the bottom of that filter, because I think that sponge is going to clog up pretty quickly. If you ended up buying this, what I would do is I would go to Aquarium Co-op and buy some of this filter pad and actually swap out that sponge with something that's a little coarser. I think it'll work a lot better for you. So I have them set up behind me and I'm going to continue to run a longer term test and see uh, how they perform. Uh, the right now both of them are on this African cichlid tank behind me. So I'm going to see how long it takes for the suction cups to fail and how long it takes sponges to clog up. And uh, we'll definitely report back on that. So this is your first time here. Uh, please check out the videos that come at the end. Uh, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Stay fishy, keep on breeding, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.